Hi, in today's video I'll be finishing my Gar Saxon helmet build series. This video will focus mainly on the painting and final assembly of the helmet. If you haven't seen the previous videos, in episode 1 I pulled this helmet off the printer and got it all ready for paint. In episode 2 I handled the electronics inside and in this video I'll be finishing it. This build took a really long time, but it was a ton of fun and the result is amazing, so I hope you enjoy. Thanks. Okay, so I have the whole thing painted black and it is looking menacing at this point. Um, it's really smooth and there's a nice texture on the horns, which is what I was going for. And the horns are where I'm going to start because they'll be the easiest thing to mask off and leave the mask on for the entire time. So the horns are going to be painted with, by hand, with three separate layers of metallic paint. I'm going to start with almost full coverage with a really dark metallic and then just highlight certain areas with brighter metallics as I go. So I'm going to start with a regular brush like this and then work down to a chip brush that I'm going to apply it's a smaller color. So I'm starting with this metallic craft paint. This is the darkest color I have. So you can see the one side is looking a little shinier, looks like rough pop metal and this side is still just black. So I'm going to keep doing this for all four and then go with a slightly brighter coat. Okay so I've done all of the first coats of metallic on all of the horns. It's pretty subtle but it's starting to pick up the, the look I want. The camera's having a hard time picking it up just because of the lighting is kind of blowing everything out. But it looks exactly like I want. So now I'm gonna go in with an even brighter me metallic color and try to highlight some of these areas. This will be with a, wow, that's, that is a super bright silver. That's not the one I'm gonna go with next. Um, I'm just gonna highlight some of these with a very dry brush. That'll make it look more like worn metal. Um, that's, that's what sells this kind of look, is having spots that look worn um, and spots that look relatively black. And sub subtlety in a paint job like this is the key to making it really look good. So, that's a brighter chrome. So, the way I dry brush is I take a little bit on my brush and then I have a piece of cardboard over here that I wipe 95% of it off with. And then I just hit the high spots. Okay, now I'm going to use this super bright metallic paint to do the weld lines. And I'm gonna use a better brush for this. Okay, so. My next step for this, I have the horns all masked off because they're pretty much done with their paint job. I'm going to give this whole thing a coat of chrome. Now most of the chrome is going to get covered up. I think the only parts that get left chrome are these cheeks right here. Um, but there will be some battle damage being shown through, which is where the chrome will be left. So the next step is to hit it with chrome and then clear coat over all the chrome and then start masking off the areas that are going to stay chrome. So I'm going to take this down to my basement where I do all my painting and do that next. Okay, so I have to mask off these cheek areas right here and then start putting down the masking fluid that will show the metal underneath for battle damage.
both sides mask. Everything's pressed down nicely, so now it's time to take my masking fluid. some of the battle damage in. Okay, so now I'm about to airbrush the black paint on. For some reason, this chrome paint I did, the spray paint, uh, this black spray, the thinner in it, ate into the chrome and dissolved it. So luckily I tested it on the back before I did any other spot, but pretty unfortunate. Would have preferred it not to do that, but it is what it is. So I'm switching to an airbrush, which the paint doesn't have any thinner in it. Now to peel my mask and see what I have. So it's all painted except for the stripes on the top. Um, <laughs> to do those, I actually have this little Funko Pop guy here. Um, that'll be my reference. Um, and I'm just gonna mask it all by hand. Um, since they're all straight lines, uh, vinyl stencil wouldn't really work on compound curves like this, but it's starting to look really cool. Okay, so I have the pattern masked out now and time to brush on the red paint.
So the paint job is done, it looks amazing. And now the last thing for me to do is to add the visor permanently and then put it on. Okay, so I have my studio lights off, and this is the first time trying this thing on fully painted. <laughs> this thing is sick. This is one of the coolest things I've ever made. So I hope you enjoyed the process of building this helmet. It was a lot of fun for me. And I think it went so well that I'm gonna actually build the entire armor set for this character. I've been posting daily updates on my Instagram page at Mark Marks Makes if you wanna stay up to date on that build. So here's a quick preview of my armor. Everything, everything I, built on this was fabricated instead of 3D printed. So it's a way different process um, and I'm thrilled with the results. So stay tuned for more of this and uh, thanks for watching.